What's good everybody? Welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons and today I'm going to show you how to create outline text in Adobe Photoshop. Now as you can see I have Photoshop up and running and I have a piece of text right here and I'm going to show you how to create just that text but have an outline to it. No fill. So let's get started. So as you can see I have just the word text in Photoshop and you can see that it is still editable. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to turn that text white. So what I'm going to do is highlight this text here and then I'm going to go to my workspace at the top and then there's an option for my color. By default it's black so I'm going to change that to white by clicking this box and then we have our color picker so I'm going to set that to white, hit OK. But you can see that there is no outline to this thing. But still having this text selected, we can go up here to layer and go down to where it says layer style and then go to stroke. And then this window comes up like so. So right here you can change the thickness of the stroke, you can change the position, the blending mode and opacity we're not going to mess with. But if I move this window down here, you can see that when I change the size of the stroke, you can see that it changes the thickness of it. So you can have it super thick like this, or just have it super thin so that way each piece of text is, you know, by itself. So I'm going to set that to about four and then hit OK. And what's good about doing it this way is you can still have it editable. So that way, if you don't want the word text, in your document or whatever you can change that word to whatever you want and you can also change the tracking of it like that's what I mean by it still being editable so you can change the spacing between each letter you can even change the size of it as well so let me tell you all about that real quick so the stroke I have it on four pixels right and the size that I have this text at it's at 49 so if I reduce the size of the text you can see that the thickness of the stroke it's still at four pixels but now once I made that text small you can see that the stroke appears to be uh, thick thicker than how you want it so what you can do is you can go back up here to layer layer style and go back up here to stroke and then just simply change that by using this little slider thing right here but you only have to do that if you decide to change the size of the text so whatever number you have the stroke being it doesn't change along with the size of the text. So you have to change that whenever you change the size of the text. So I'm going to select all this and set it back to 49. And then change the stroke of it again. Back to how it was. But let's say you want the stroke to still be there, but have a transparent fill. So what I'm going to do is hold the option key select that text box which I've already done and then I'm just going to drag it down like so and I can make a copy of this text box and you can see that it's on its own separate layer. So with my stroke still being there what I can do is right click on this layer and then I'm going to scroll down to where it says rasterize layer style and what this does is everything that I did in my layer styles window here that applies to that text box so if I toggle visibility on just the stroke for this text box that I have selected and I go back to rasterize layer style all that merges together so I'm going to click that and now that text box becomes a photo so after you transform it into a photo you can no longer change the text about that all you can do is treat it like a regular image in Photoshop where you can resize it, reposition it, all that stuff. So a good thing about this is when you change the size of the text now that it's a photo, the stroke changes along with it. And you don't really have to change that either unless you want to have a separate stroke along with the stroke that's already on this layer or this photo actually. But the main thing about this one is I don't want that white to be there. I want it to be a transparent fill. I want it to be the same color of the background. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here to one of my selection tools here. I'm going to tap on this layer, hold the shift key and select every part of this photo here that's white. So like I selected the letter P, the letter H and the letter O. I'm selecting all those white parts. 
So we click and click, and now all that is selected. So now I'm gonna hit the backspace or delete button to get rid of the white. And now the white is no longer there. So command D to deselect. And now we're left with the stroke of these letters, the outlines of it. But like I mentioned earlier, you can't really change the text about this now that it's a photo in Photoshop now. But there is another way to create outline text, but still have it editable. And you don't have to transform it into an image. So what I'm gonna do is click on this original text box up here. I'm gonna hold the option key and make another copy of it. Like so. And after copying this text box down here, all the layer styles, like the stroke and everything, all the effects, they still apply because all we did was make a duplicate of it. So all the changes that we made from before, it'll still apply to the duplicate layer. So now having this text box selected, I'm gonna go over here to where it says effects and I'm gonna double click on that. So that way our layer styles window will pop up. And let me move this window up so we can see what we're doing to this text box down here. So a way to get rid of the fill or at least make it transparent, I'm gonna go right here to where it says advanced blending. And by default, the fill opacity is at 100, which means we have an opaque white fill for this text. But what we can do is drag this slider to the other side of this toolbar here. And you can see that the white fill is now completely transparent. Like we can't see it at all because the fill opacity is now at zero. But if we go over here to our stroke option, you can see that we can still edit that if we want. So nothing really changed about that, but we can change it if we want. But the main thing is, let me click out of this window real quick. We can see that this is still a text box, meaning if I go to my text tool right here, the letter T, I can now edit that and change the word if I want, which is another good thing. So you can create outline text in Photoshop with any of the three methods that I showed you, but if you're really big on editing it or changing the wording of the text box after you do it, then I would go with the last method that I showed you guys how to do. But yeah, that's how you do it. That's how you create outline text in Photoshop. So if you liked the video or if you found it useful, give it a like and a comment, subscribe if you haven't, and tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And I'll see you in my next video. I'm that one that I delegate.